You can sell digital designs on sites like Etsy or Creative Fabrica, and you don't need to be drawing with a pencil or a pen, and you don't need to be designing them in Photoshop directly. In this video, I'm gonna show you a three-step process that I use to be able to create and then sell digital SVG. These are vector files. Let's jump in. The first step for me is I jump onto a site like Comic Book Plus. And so I absolutely love this site. There's literally thousands and thousands of public domain comic books on here, all different categories. Uh, big warning, this will suck hours and hours out of your week and I absolutely love it. There's this categories tab right there and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go right here to the bottom and I'm gonna pick funny animals to start. From here, you can take a look at all these different funny animals and this is just page one of three so you could actually select the next page if you want as well. I'm gonna keep scrolling here and I'm going to find this comic book right here which is Frisky Animals on Parade and it's a kind of a beat up old comic book but it is public domain. Now I'm gonna scroll through this comic, I'm just clicking on the page and I'm gonna to get to page three, page four, page five, I'm gonna go all the way to page 11 and I can see this comic book just keeps going on and on. On page 12, there's this thing here called Icicle Ike, and I'm gonna take a picture of this penguin, and I'm gonna turn him into an SVG file. So I can just right click this image and I can save as, and that will save as an image, like a JPEG file. Step two involves using a graphics design program like Photoshop or Affinity Photo. So I'm gonna create a template here. I'm just gonna use my display template. So it's 2,900 pixels by 4,060 pixels. I'm gonna open this up. It's a transparent background and I'm gonna place my penguin image. Okay, so I've got my image now placed. I'm gonna go view, fit on screen. That's gonna make it slightly larger. And I'm just gonna use my eraser tool and I'm gonna rasterize my image here. And then using the eraser tool, I'm just going to cut around the penguin as much as possible here. Now I'm gonna make my eraser really big and I'm just gonna get rid of the remainder. So what I'm doing here, the goal on this is to clean up the image as much as possible. So I'm getting rid of all the background images. And what you can also do is you can go into the eraser tool with magic eraser and you can get rid of the actual color as well. So I'm getting rid of the background, getting rid of as much color as possible. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. So I'm just gonna make him a bit bigger here. And then I'm gonna save him now as a PNG file and a PNG file has a transparent background. So I'm gonna go file, save as, and then PNG. All right, and the third and last step involves using Inkscape. And if you've never heard of Inkscape before, it's a vector software tool. It's completely free. You can download it online. I'll put a link in the video description as well. I'm gonna go file and open, and I'm gonna pull in my cartoon picture. This is just my transparent background PNG file. And you can see the difference if you remove some of the color. We're gonna see if this works now when I do the trace bitmap. So I'm gonna go path, trace bitmap. You're gonna see it pop up here on the right hand side. I'm gonna click update preview and you can see it's black and white down below. If you make the scan too dark, I'm just gonna turn the threshold up and I click update preview, you'll see it's starting now. The color on the brim of the hat, for example, is starting to turn black. And if I hit apply now, that's gonna be way too messy of a vector. So what you'd wanna do is try to remove uh, as many of the little speckles as possible. I'm actually gonna make this a bit lighter than normal. And I'm gonna hit update preview. And we can see that looks decent. I'm gonna click apply. And now we can see this is our vector. I'm gonna remove the original and I'm just gonna put this back on. Now notice there's some speckles here on the black. You can actually clean up this image if you see these speckles. See, I'm gonna zoom in here. These speckles are all gonna be nodes and you wanna get rid of those as much as possible. So you can do that. On the left-hand side, there's a menu called Edit Paths by Node. When I click on it, you'll see there's a whole lot of vector points that are on these designs. Uh, so you'd want to clean this up as much as possible. So here I'm just going to highlight these nodes and I'm going to click the delete key and you can see they very quickly get removed. The less vector nodes you have, typically the better it is because people who are buying these files are buying them to use them for say a cutting machine like an X-Tool, a laser cutting machine or an engraving machine. And so if you've got a ton of points, it's going to take a really long time. It might even overload the machine. There could be hundreds of thousands of points in some of these images. So what you'd want to do is try to remove as many as possible. So that's looking definitely better. I'm just going to go back to the start here and we can see how the difference between the little speckles 
and the part that I've cleaned up. So you would go through and clean this up as much as possible. I did want to point out there's another option as well. You can go up to Path and you can go to Simplify. And when you do that, it gr drastically removes a lot of the nodes. And so you can see now there's way less nodes in the image. The problem is you may lose some fidelity in the image. So some of the lines may become a bit blurry here or not as pronounced. So notice the eyes now have drastically changed. So what you can do as a workaround if you do the simplify method is you can add in eyes pretty easily, especially with cartoon characters. I'm going to go to the left hand side and click uh, the shapes button here. It says create circles and I'm going to simply go in here now and just draw a shape. Now you want to double check your fill and your stroke on here. So when I click on down on the bottom left there's a fill button and you want to make sure that the fill is set to black. Then you want to make sure that your stroke is set to nothing. So you'd want to make sure that your stroke is either white or just nothing at all. And you can do that here at the bottom of the menu wheel. I'm going to scroll this right down the alpha channel. I'm going to scroll this down to zero. So there's no stroke now around that eyeball. It's just an eyeball. And then I'm going to click control C, control V. That's going to paste it and now I can make his eyes look a little more reasonable here. So you can move them, you can move them around, you can have them staring at the sun, whatever you want to do. And then you can also edit the nodes themselves by going into edit paths by node. I'm going to click on the design and I could go in here now and I could actually change how this looks simply by dragging these nodes around. You can also move the nodes like this by moving the little wheels. You'd want to be careful with it because if you do it wrong, it's going to wind up drastically reducing the image. But you can just click Control Z or Control Z and that undoes it, undoes it. And so using the shapes, you can create a pretty decent looking cartoon image and you can put this on a t-shirt. You can sell this as a vector. There's a ton of different options that you can use once the image is cleaned up. I'm going to go through here. Looks pretty good. And then from here, it's just a matter of exporting this design. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to the right hand side and I'm going to click on the, the export this document feature. And then from here I can export it down at the bottom. It's going to export it as a PNG file. And what you want to do is make sure that you've got this DPI set to 300. From there you can make this design bigger if you like as well. I'm just going to hold down the control key and scroll this out. Now what you want to do, notice my eyes didn't go with me, right? So I'm going to click Control Z, and then I'm going to click Control A. That selects all, and now I'm going to go bigger. Now notice everything now gets dragged, and we can see the design is now 5,000 by about 6,700, DPI 300, and I'm going to click Export down at the bottom, and we can see now it's exporting the PNG file. So you can sell this as a PNG. You can also just hit File, Save As, and it would save it as an SVG file. That's a vector file as well. So if somebody values the PNG, they have a transparent background. And if somebody values the vector, they've got the nodes they can use if they wanted to use it as a cut file. I really hope you found that walkthrough helpful. I do this all the time. Selling digital images is fun because you can scroll through comic books for hours and hours. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital journey using Inkscape. Thanks a lot for watching.